in the far east of Myanmar is a de facto independent territory. It's run by the country's largest rebel army, which unilaterally declared it Wa State. It's largely cut off from the outside world, in particular the rest of Myanmar. Right now, Wa is still a wild frontier. People who live here have ID cards, but only for this state. We can't travel outside of here. The United Wa State Army controls two areas on the borders with Thailand and China. The state is run under a one-party communist system. It's heavily reliant on Chinese support in the form of trade, investment and in the near future thanks to a new casino, possibly tourism. When I first moved here, there was only jungle everywhere, but now it's more developed. In the past, it was very poor and far behind, but it's getting better. The WA signed a bilateral ceasefire deal with the Myanmar army in 1989 and haven't been directly involved in any significant fighting since. They are largely left to run their own affairs and still maintain a well-organized and well-resourced fighting force of up to 30,000. Now they're coming under pressure to join the government's nationwide ceasefire agreement, which, like many other ethnic armies, they're refusing to do. They say they're not prepared to meet one of the key conditions of that deal, which is for their soldiers to lay down their weapons and join the Myanmar military. The Wa are also fiercely protective of their income streams, like jade mining and the illegal wildlife trade. Many products like tiger and bear teeth are sold openly in the state capital, Pankam. The United Wa State Army is also thought to be one of the region's largest manufacturers of illegal drugs, a business it says it's no longer in. But there are many who believe those who run this area are still stuck in the past, and until they open up, life will not improve. I want Wa to continue to develop. I want to see more people move through here, which will improve trade and business. In the past two or three years, it's been very bad. I can't make or sell much. Wa State serves as a reminder of how fragmented Myanmar is. While this area may be at peace for now, it's the people that continue to pay the price of civil war through isolation and a lack of development. Wayne Hay, Al Jazeera.